question itself is kind of a trick question. And the answer is kind of a trick answer. So what do women want? Well, it turns out that it's not that women don't know what they want. It's that women don't know what they want in advance. Now, as men, we're used to thinking about the future, okay, and thinking about what we want and planning to get it. We know what we want in advance. We know what kind of car we want, we know what kind of job we want, and we know what kind of woman we want. Now, women operate with a completely different psychology. She only has a vague idea of what she wants, but she's always looking because she'll know it when she sees it. And this is one of the reasons why women tend to love shopping so much, for example. Lots of chances to stumble upon the perfect thing so her emotions can say to her, that is what I want. And this provides the key to getting a woman to want you. Okay, now here's the fun part. What a woman wants more than anything is to find a man who knows what he wants. And this makes such simple sense. Okay? She wants someone who has a superpower that she doesn't have. Now, of course I'm generalizing here, but she's the emotional and the relationship genius who's sensitive on a moment-to-moment -moment basis to what her partner and her friends and her family need to feel safe and loved. And she needs to find a partner who's good at this other thing that we're talking about. Imagine that you didn't have the skill to know what you wanted in advance, and you were interviewing potential relationship partners. What would trigger your internal hot button that this is the guy? Okay, exactly. You'd want to find a man who was good at knowing what he wanted and how to get it so that you could have this skill as part of your relationship and as part of your family. So what a woman wants, but she doesn't know that she wants, is a man who knows what he wants. And the ultimate catch is a man who knows what his purpose is in life. If you know what your purpose is, then you will be one of the most attractive men walking on this planet. And in order to attract and keep an amazing woman to create a real true love relationship, you need four things, okay? Four things, and we're going to talk about them. First, you need to understand the dating, mating, and attraction game. Number two, you need self-esteem. Number three, you need status. And number four, you need to know how to have a deep, intimate relationship with a woman. So let's take these one at a time. Okay, again, first, understanding the mating and attraction game. Now, as you've already learned from me, attraction isn't a choice. Okay, it's not something that we choose or don't choose. It's something that's triggered by a man. And as men, we typically try to convince women to want to be with us, which of course fails miserably, because you can't convince someone to feel attraction. Okay, again, you can only trigger it. And us guys, we're actually very sensitive. Okay? Very, very sensitive. And we're particularly sensitive to rejection, which we try to avoid at all cost. Now, I've broken the process from first meeting to the point of sex down into 10 steps that I call bridges. Okay? You may have read about this in some of my materials. And it turns out that there are specific steps you can take to cross each of these bridges with the lowest possible chance of rejection. Now, us guys, we love stuff like this because it maximizes the chances of us succeeding with a woman and it minimizes the chances of rejection. Okay? It's a strategy that works. But we have to be careful here. Okay? We can't take this stuff, these techniques, as religion and become too overly identified with it. One of the things that I didn't know when I was learning this stuff and teaching it is that if you overdo it and it becomes too much of a shtick, okay, you make yourself very unattractive to a high self-esteem woman and you'll be stuck dating women who have low self-esteem and who will be an emotional nightmare for you in a relationship. The type of woman that you'll want to have a lifetime relationship with is almost definitely not the type of woman that you'll just want to date casually. Okay, think about that. And the type of high caliber woman that you're ultimately looking for, okay, she can smell stories and patterns and tricks a mile away. And this means you need a different set of mindsets, models, and tools to succeed. Number two, okay, self-esteem. Building your self-esteem around relationships and intimacy. And speaking of self-esteem, let's talk about what it is and why you need to develop it. Okay, so self-esteem is about having the confidence that you can handle any situation that you find yourself in. It's your confidence and your ability to cope with what life throws at you. Okay? If you're confident that you can handle any situation, then you carry yourself with a relaxed sort of grace that's very powerful and that women find very attractive. In the world of the pickup artists, which is actually worth studying a bit, 
there's a little bit of a paradox. Okay, I was talking to one of the guys in that world, actually a pretty famous guy, and he bragged to me that he had over 18 hours of stories and patterns and routines memorized. Okay, so he didn't have to think of something original to say to a woman until after he had hung out with her for 18 hours. Now, you know, that's pretty impressive, but you kind of have to ask the question, what happens when you meet a woman that's really exceptional and you're on like your third or fourth date and you run out of pre-planned material? Okay, what happens when she meets the real you? Now, self-esteem is one of those things that women find really attractive. And it's also one of those things that's very hard to fake. Now, you can fake it for a little while with stories and pickup artist patterns and things like this, and that's fine. But what got you a date isn't going to get you a successful long-term relationship with a spectacular woman. Okay? Like what gets you a job interview, yeah, that's not going to be what makes you succeed actually at the job. My mentor, Jerry Ballinger, he once taught me a phrase. Okay? He said, competence is confidence. When you're competent at something, you're relaxed and calm when you go to do it. When you're not competent, you become nervous and very self-conscious. Now, some of us even become self-critical, okay, which makes things very, very challenging. One of my biggest realizations when learning how to attract women was that I didn't have to be tall or rich or super handsome to get a girl. I just needed to learn the skills of dating. I needed to learn the steps of the human mating dance and then do them with her in order. Now, one of my biggest realizations in deep, intimate relationship is that I don't come wired with the knowledge of how to have an intimate relationship and how to take big emotional risks. But just like dating, right, I've realized that this is also something that you can learn. And here's another little insight. One of the reasons why we men learn dating techniques is because we don't have confidence in our ability to be a great romantic partner. Okay, we learn the dating techniques to make up for the fact that we're not confident about being a great partner. Now, once you learn how, and you have more confidence in yourself, this translates into a powerful and palpable way of moving through the world and moving through relationships, okay? And it's something that women can feel. It's magnetic, it's very, very powerful. And in the live four-day workshop that I'm going to be teaching in December, we're going to invest a full day building your skills, your competence, and your self-esteem about relationships so that when you meet the most amazing woman in the world, the one that's perfect for you, you will easily move into a relationship and just dance through the challenges with a calm confidence. Now, number three, okay, we talked about status, increasing your status. Now, if you study my dating trainings, then you know that the key that unlocks the door of attraction is status. Status is how you see yourself in relationship to others in the social hierarchy, and it's how others see you. Now, people don't buy fancy cars and fancy brand name clothes just for the quality, okay, as you know. They buy these things to show off to others, to say, I'm successful, I'm important, and I'm someone that you want to be associated with. In other words, they buy these things to achieve social status, to be seen as someone who's at the top of the pyramid. And why do they want this? Because this leads to all of the types of rewards that we want practically and emotionally. But here's the problem. Most people have been tricked by culture and advertising and other people around them that status symbols like cars and clothes and brand names and even name dropping, that they actually increase their social status. Now, sometimes they do. You know, if you pull up to the front door of the Four Seasons Hotel in your new Ferrari, it does suggest that you've done something to succeed financially in your life and that you're important. Okay? And that does work to attract a certain type of woman sometimes. But there's something else going on uh, that's very important to consider. Okay? Have you ever seen those pictures of like the idealized forms of women online? Right? One is the image of what women think men want, okay? and then it's like a super skinny woman with like little boobs and she looks like a really thin model. And then there's the image of what men say that they want, okay? and it's a woman that's got a little more meat on her bones with like bigger boobs, okay? or the reverse. Okay? Most men think that a woman wants the super big, like, buff guy with giant muscles. And it actually turns out that women want more of an average body guy who's in good shape, okay? But not a bodybuilder at all. And the point is that we get the wrong idea of what the opposite sex wants. And then we get lost playing a game of being someone that we're not to attract a fake version of what we think we want. 
Okay, and of course, sure, you can learn to fake having social status. And it can work for a little while with some women. And it does trigger attraction when you learn to fake it well, okay, particularly in women who have low self-esteem. But the bottom line here is that while this works up to a point with a particular type of woman, it's not going to work long term with the world's greatest woman. Okay? And if you've watched this video up to this point, then we both know that you're looking to take things to the next level and develop real, powerful status that's authentic, that both you and she can feel and lasts. So what's the fastest way to achieve a real, authentic, powerful level of success and social status in your life? Well, it's to identify your natural, unique, authentic gifts as a man, and then to use them to create a huge amount of value in life. Now, this results in others feeling drawn to you. Uh, it results in you succeeding financially and realizing your potential and becoming a lot more powerful and influential. As you know, by now I've taught very successful high-level business and money programs for several years. Okay? And in this new program that I'm going to teach in December, I'll take the best of that material and I'll show you how to use it to make yourself highly successful, how to develop your own powerful social status, and how to become a magnet for the most amazing woman in the world. And finally, number four, you need to know how to have a deep, intimate relationship with a woman. You need confidence in your ability to have a relationship. Now, this is actually the most important piece of the puzzle, and it's the one that I think is the most mysterious. Okay? And this is why I want to invite you to come spend four days with me and some of my friends who have succeeded in deep, intimate relationships as we turn the page and learn about what I call love, the final chapter. So after 10 years of studying and mastering the dating game, 10 years, I finally found something that's dramatically more important. And that's the relationship game. The final chapter is actually not a date, and it's not sex, and it's not a girlfriend. It's love. And that's why I call this program Love, the final chapter. It's four intensive days of training with me and some of the experts and friends that I've gathered in the last several years to teach you the secrets of how to succeed in an intimate relationship, how to be a man that the most amazing woman in the world is actually looking for, and how to be the hero that she always wanted, okay, and that makes you feel like your best self. And inside this tell-all experience, you're going to learn how to approach a woman differently, okay, how to approach her differently if you're looking for a long-term relationship. Now, this is maybe a 10 or 20% tweak on what you've already learned from me in the Double Your Dating Materials, but it is absolutely key if you want to meet and then keep the most amazing woman in the world. You're going to learn how to tell if her personality is compatible with yours for the long term. I now use a new personality model that I've developed to decode whether or not you're soulmate level compatible. Okay, and this is, again, absolutely essential if you're interested in a long-term relationship with her. You're going to learn how she is going to change after getting into a relationship with you, the man of her dreams. Okay, and I've now seen this happen time after time. And if you're not expecting it, it can drive you crazy. Okay, and it can actually threaten your relationship. Now, it's natural for her to change and for you to change. And if you know how this happens, you'll be able to keep your relationship secure even through the transition. You're going to learn how to keep the attraction up inside the relationship. And no, it's not by continuing to do the kiss test or, you know, continuing to be cocky and funny. A long-term attraction is different from short-term attraction. And if you want to keep the passion going, then you must do this stuff that you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to win the power battles and win the fights in your relationship without her having to lose. Okay, in fact, if you become skilled with the tools that I'm going to teach you, that I've learned in the past five years in my relationship, then you can both win and actually use conflict as practice at collaboration and partnership. You're going to learn why fighting and arguments are natural and why you'll probably have more of them if you actually find the most amazing woman in the world for you. Okay, more fights. Now, this is something that almost no guy expects, but it's key. And it's another reason why you'll want to learn the conflict and argument tools that I'm going to teach you inside of love, the final chapter. Now, honestly, if you learn how to navigate your way through conflict without getting too upset, without the normal unconscious threats that most men make, and without her needing to feel like you might leave the relationship, you can create a type of security that most people only dream of having in their lives. You're also going to learn how to be a true hero to the woman of your dreams. Now, it turns out that every woman is truly unique 
and every woman has a combination or a code, a specific sequence of things that she needs her romantic partner to do when she gets stressed out or upset. And if you don't know this code, nothing you try, nothing you can do can soothe or calm her. Now I'm sure you've been there, okay, and it's very frustrating and upsetting as a man when you want to help, but you can't. Now over the past few years, my wife and I, we've created a specific process. It takes maybe 20 minutes or so for you to unlock her unique code for calming and soothing. And then you can do it anytime she's upset. And this is how to become a modern hero to the most amazing woman in the world. You're going to learn how to identify a woman who will be a good mother, okay? Because let's face it, you and I are here, and that's proof that every one of our ancestors was successful at first, surviving to adulthood, and second, mating and having a child, okay? It's, it's an unbroken chain that has gone on for generations, tens of generations, hundreds of generations, thousands, millions, some estimate up to a billion generations with every ancestor surviving to adulthood, finding a mate, and then successfully raising a child. Now, not all of us are good at having and raising children, but if you're interested in this game, which is really the adult game of life, then it's key that you look for a few specific qualities in your mate. And in Love, the final chapter, we'll learn what those qualities are and how to detect them early. You're also gonna learn how to succeed with her family. If you're successful at finding the most amazing woman in the world for you, you're also going to realize that you're just not getting into a relationship with her, but you're getting to a long-term relationship with her entire family. And this means differences in values, ways of looking at the world, and even different ways of doing conflict. Now, my wife has taught me the most important lessons about connecting with your partner's family. And in Love, the final chapter, I'm gonna share them with you so you can successfully navigate this very sensitive political territory and come out winning the game. You're going to learn why it's critical that you track your partner's monthly cycle, okay, and how it leads to her having three very different personalities, literally every month. It's like her becoming three people every month. Science is now showing us that women's minds, their emotions, their personalities change as they go through their monthly cycle. And in Love, the final chapter, I'll show you the map of how this works and how to successfully move through it with her without all the conflict and suffering that most couples get caught up in. You'll also learn how to support your partner when she gets pregnant. I discovered something interesting when my wife got pregnant. Her monthly hormonal up and down cycle, it actually continued, only it got stronger. Now this comes as a shock to most men, but again, if you know how to handle it, you can win this game and be a true hero, again, to the most amazing woman at the world when it's most important. You're gonna learn how to deal with and master the most challenging emotions like anger and jealousy and envy and resentment and use them as the raw materials for the next level of your own development. Remember when we talked about the importance of self-esteem? Well, it's important for her to have it too. And it's often difficult to tell if she has high or low self-esteem, especially if she's attractive, okay? Because being sexy or smart or attractive doesn't automatically give a woman high self-esteem. And in Love, the final chapter, you'll learn the telltale signs to look for to make sure you're partnering with someone who won't buckle or cave or fall apart after you've fallen in love. And we'll also learn what to do if you meet your soulmate, okay, your most amazing woman in the world, but she's not responding to you, okay, she's not responding to your flirting, and she's not feeling attraction for you. Now, this is a bigger challenge, but it's a game that can be won, and I will show you exactly how to do it. It's a super counterintuitive move, but it's something that you must have in your toolkit just in case everything else isn't working for you. And also right now, by the way, I'm talking with the guys I know who are great at dating and who have also made the quantum leap and are now in fantastic, fulfilling, healthy relationships, long-term relationships, lifetime relationships with amazing women. Now, some of these guys are famous in our world and they are going to come and share what they've learned in their relationships as well. As we get closer to the program, I'll announce some of these guest speakers individually, but I'm really amazed because all of them have said yes so far. Now, I want to mention one more thing, okay? Something very interesting is starting to happen in the world right now. Couples who are coming together and who have successfully navigated through the challenges of dating and then relationship, who have moved into long-term life partnership, are becoming more and more powerful I now believe that if you want to achieve your maximum potential as a man, that the fastest path is to find your life partner, okay, you might call her your soulmate, you might call her your wife, whatever you call her, 
It's key to find her if you want to become as successful as you can possibly become. If you have your purpose and your partner, you can actually live a fulfilled, happy life. And if you don't have your purpose and your partner, then there's nothing you can do to achieve a true, deep, authentic feeling of fulfillment and you'll always be looking for it somewhere else. And in Love, the final chapter, we're going to learn to identify our purpose. We're going to learn to find our partner. We're going to learn to find the most amazing woman in the world for you and then to have a long-term partnership that gives, gives, you, gives you the feeling that all of us have been looking for all of our lives. Again, Love the Final Chapter is a four-day live in-person event. It's happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, December 4th through 7th in Phoenix, Arizona, which is just beautiful in the late fall. It's a great time to be there. Very easy to fly into from almost anywhere. So let's talk about the tuition for this program. So what's it worth to learn how to find your true purpose in life and then learn how to attract the most amazing woman in the world? Well, for me, it was priceless. Okay, I would trade all the money in the world and everything I own, okay, if that was the price, to be with my wife. And I never suspected that this was even possible to feel this way, but it is. So let me tell you, uh, my advanced business trainings, okay, they cost $5,000, $10,000, sometimes up to $24,000. And what you'll learn in this course is easily worth more than all those trainings combined. As I mentioned, I'm only doing this program once. And it's the last David D. and Double Your Dating Live program that I'm ever going to do. I've decided to offer this program for the low tuition of only $997 per person because I want it to be affordable for anyone who wants to attend this landmark program with me. And if you need it, we'll also have a monthly payment option to keep things easy for you. Now, as a note, uh, this tuition is for the training program with me. Okay, you'll also be responsible for your own travel and hotel. Now, we're also doing the program at a great hotel location in Phoenix. We've negotiated a special rate for you, so it'll be really easy to stay on site, which you'll want to do. Now, this program, uh, it also comes with my 100% no questions and no hassles guarantee, and it works like this. Register today. Come join me for the four-day live training. And if, for any reason, you don't think that this course is worth 10 times your investment, just come up to me at the end and say, hey, man, you know, I just don't think it was worth it, and I will give you a full refund, okay? I'll give you all your money back. Again, no questions and no hassles, okay? It's the way a guarantee should be, and I stand behind this training. Now, of course, I don't think you're going to ask for a refund because I believe that this information is going to be the most valuable set of knowledge and skills that you learn maybe in your entire life. And I know that when you see the difference that it makes in your intimate relationship, you're going to be glad you made the investment, okay? An investment that, again, will be the best you've ever made in your life. So just click the button on this page and register now. Uh, we have limited space, and the last couple of David D. programs, the W Dating programs that I've done, they've, they've filled up completely. You don't want to miss this one, okay? And it's the only time I'm going to teach this one live. So register now, and I will see you in Phoenix for Love, the Final Chapter.